What's up y'all, Liam here, back with another YouTube video. So, today is my 17th birthday. So, I decided to do something special. I got myself a snorkel from my truck. So we're gonna put it on today. Now, a lot of snorkels for trucks cost, you know, about 150 to $200. But I'm trying to do a budget overland build for the most part trying to get it as budgeted as possible while also being good so i decided to buy a 58 dollar snorkel from ebay um, and i'm basing this off of the a video that i saw from overland under budget um, who i'll link in the description here and he put he did a, a video showing you how to install a snorkel on a first gen Tacoma. I think his was a 1996, um, mine's a 2003, but should be pretty much the same thing. So I followed his instructions um, and we're gonna put it on the truck. So let's just get into it. First things first, we have to get these, this fender flare off. So what you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet just to undo these here. And on mine, I don't have too many, too many bolts in here. I got one, two, three, four. I think I only have four bolts. And so you're going to get these guys out there's one in there one up here one up here and then one over on this side there and then next you're gonna take these little um, things out all right once you've gotten the fender flare off and the inside wheel well covering off you're gonna take off these two bolts that secure your air intake hose down and you're gonna go ahead and take this guy off and we're gonna need to use it again but a previous air intake is right there so if you were to drive in it's at the exact same level as your engine versus when the snorkel comes on your air will all come from right here so that you can get wetter without having to worry about flooding your engine so we went ahead and taped off this section here um, and we're going to go ahead and put out this little template that they put on that they give us here. All right, so we've gone ahead and taped out the template and this looks about right. These are going to be the holes for these little studs to go through and this little dot is going to be the center of the big hole. So we're going to trace out. Um, the area of where to drill. So we've drilled pilot holes in each of the little stud holes there. And Bob's going to get a different drill bit there because that one that he was just using is a little bit, a uh, little bit blunt. So he's gonna go get a sharper one. If you wanna cut the big hole you can either use a hole saw uh, but they're pretty expensive and we didn't have one of the right size for this one so we're just going to use a jigsaw for it instead
Runaway trophy. All right. Here we are. He said in his video that we should turn it into a necklace or a, or a medal of honor for our first snorkel. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, thank you, Overland Under Budget, for that work. Does it fit well? Or we need yeah, to... we uh, just need to ream the one. Okay. So what Bob's done is he's sanded off some of the edges on there. So we're just going to put this shake, shake, shake. rust stop on there so that it, the edges of the metal don't rust as we go along because this is made for water, obviously, as it's a snorkel. And uh, That's it. we don't want it to rust as we're going through the water. So we're gonna take this. All right, now we can just let that dry a bit and then get ready to final fit it. We have all these holes primed so they won't rust and we've gotten the rivets in for the top bracket up here. Um, so that's gonna keep the snorkel head on. So now we're just going to tighten up the studs onto the snorkel body and then fit it. For these studs on the snorkel, all they do is they have a little hex inside to have, to, or you can use an Allen wrench to tighten it in there, and then you'll uh, put it through the holes and thread a nut onto the other side. So we can actually come in here and see, sort of see, what we have going on. After a while, we got it done. We got the uh, snorkel put on in its entirety. And I'll show it off here. So this is what we got. Looks great. It sits on there perfectly now. It goes all the way through. And the hardest part was definitely connecting that rubber with that and that back to the original air intake because it just has to be a perfect exact fit so the original uh the original tubing ended right there so we had to get that exactly right but other than that the only other thing we ran into on mine at least in there there was a random plate that was just sticking out that we actually had to um as bob calls it we had to do some persuasion with a hammer to get it out of our way so that we could actually fit the tube in there the rubber tube but otherwise it looks great we were able to seal everything off and now it should be fully functional for the next time i go scuba diving with my truck <laughs>